Good morning. Once again, this is Paul Belt on a bright sunny day in July in California. And it's been a little while since I've actually made a thought vid and um, it's way past time. So uh, I'm actually using my new little eye stabilizer so that I can actually move the camera around or move myself and, and you won't get sick, uh, you know, from jittering and jiggling and all that. But I want you to see something. See that oak tree is still out there, out in the middle of this amazing cornfield is that well-rooted, deep-rooted, if you will, oak tree. I don't know, about 50 feet tall. Its roots run really deep, deep and that's why it's uh, still a very healthy, old, wonderful reminder of being steadfast. And this field is getting closer, getting ready to actually be uh, harvested. Uh, when will it be harvested? I think just about any day. I noticed that uh, they have done some recent watering and we're now down to probably the last. It looks like the water's been turned off. And the corn stalks, can you see them? They're actually budding, but they're, they're still pretty small. There's still more time. And some of you that have been following these thought vids for a while are going, wow, I didn't realize it took that long. Well, this is gonna be for feed rather than probably corn. Uh, and so they want it to run to full maturity. And then they'll come through with the combine and actually probably just pretty well uh, chew it up, that's not the right word, it, it, in its harvest, they're going to use every bit of this. They're going to use the corn, they're going to actually use the stalk and the leaf, and, uh, and those cows over there at the dairy are going to have some nice munchies. You remember, though, I've been talking in this, these thought vids about harvest and what all it takes to actually come to a place where you have a harvest of your, your heart, your dreams, your mind, your thoughts, and and too often we think a harvest is just a financial thing of uh, bringing in the harvest, meaning filling up my pocketbook, you know, the, my, my wallet will be full. Prosperity is far more than just finances, money. Prosperity is fullness and completeness. The people of Israel, when they were given the promise from God to actually have a land flowing with milk and honey it wasn't the idea that they were going to be fat and sassy and lots of food and it was it was that solid wholeness complete a place to call home a place to be safe and secure that's what prosperity really is knowing who you are and being safe and secure in it once you have the feeling of or the standing of prosperity you then are able to be creative. All of us have probably at some time experienced that. That when you feel prosperous of heart and mind, you feel secure, you can actually dream. You can actually step out into your creativity of just who you are, the gifts you have. And that's what I want to encourage you with today. Prosperity of heart and mind is just being satisfied with what you have and looking for the place that you can be deep, okay, deeply rooted, satisfied. And then from that can come the creativity that you've been gifted with. Every one of us has been gifted with a creativity. I have enjoyed this last couple of weeks. I've been able to share in a couple of different churches and filling in for some pastor friends of mine who are on vacation or have uh, missions trips and things going on that's what I'm geared for I, I, I'm a communicator and so when I get to actually teach whether it's uh, 300 or 30 or 3 I I get lit up uh, it's a passion I get passionate about it because that's what I'm supposed to do I, I'm supposed to take things that uh, maybe elude us a little bit and bring an application to them that then they can apply and be taught and make a difference in our lives. And so that's what I want to share with you in these videos. And that's what I want to share with you along this roadside of watching this amazing field grow and that amazing oak tree up there to remind us that, you know, it does take time. Uh, there's some specific things that have to be in place. We talked about in the past, nutrition, cultivation, good seed, 
uh, good soil, uh, the nurturing, the all the things that go into building us. All those things are what go into crops and into us so that we someday soon can see an amazing harvest in our own lives. Hey, click on my video here where I have the subscribe button. I'd like you to be able to get regular updates when I have a new one come out. I try to keep it about five minutes. I'm right at five minutes and 30 seconds right now, so I, I'm going over my time limit. But I'm trying to make even some income from actually being online. And so if you uh, want to click one of my opportunities or just make a donation, that would help too. I, I, I just want to keep doing this, and I want to do it well. God bless you.